So a mother's instinct always to protect her baby, but a rare condition during pregnancy can cause a mother's system to do the opposite and actually attack the baby's cells in the womb. News Center 5's Erica Tarantel explains how a Boston hospital helped one woman deal with the tragic loss of her child and get treatment to prevent it from happening again. It's amazing. It's, it, I, I have no roads. Fernanda Ferreira is enjoying this moment. Her baby Joseph is healthy. We're so happy. And yet this family's bliss today is bittersweet. Less than two years ago on Mother's Day, they lost their baby, Christopher. We went through a long, hard road with Christopher. Dr. Jackie Boulay is a neonatologist at Tufts Medical Center. Looking at him immediately, I knew he was a very sick child that probably had a high risk of not being able to survive. But at that point, we thought the most likely... Uh, problem was that he had a severe infection. But the initial tests pointed to another problem. Christopher's liver wasn't working. So why is he in liver failure? We were certainly felt a little bit like we were racing against the clock. More tests revealed Fernanda had developed a rare condition during her pregnancy called gall. The disorder directs her immune system to develop antibodies that attack the baby's liver cells. So all throughout gestation, the liver is being attacked by mom's cells, and essentially the baby is born in liver failure. Christopher survived just 17 days. We don't exactly know the incidence of this disease because there are probably many babies that are born stillborn who don't end up with the diagnosis, but this may be the reason why they were stillborn. And even though Fernanda already had two healthy children, the risk now to her future children is high. Once she has a baby who's affected by this disease, she has a greater than 90% chance of having that effect with every subsequent pregnancy. But when Fernanda realized she was pregnant again, Tufts offered her a new treatment option, weekly infusions with a medication called IVIG. It sort of helps to block those antibodies and to try to limit the immune response that mom has towards the baby's mm-hmm. liver cells. Doctors didn't offer any guarantees, but Fernanda was willing to do anything to protect her developing baby. I was there every week, every Tuesday, and I stayed there five, six hours. Her dedication led to this very happy and healthy arrival. It's perfect. The labs were normal, you know. I didn't get to give them hardly any good news during our time with with Christopher, and so to be able to tell them that Joseph is perfectly healthy and this treatment worked was really special. Mm -hmm. Joseph is beautiful. Doctors still don't know why some pregnant women develop gall even after delivering healthy babies. Mm -hmm. Right now, researchers are searching for a way to screen mothers so they can detect the condition before they give birth to a severely ill baby.